Hello. Oh, hi, friends. Hello, everyone. So, today uh, I came with the JWT flow authentication. So, JWT flow authentication in a postman. So, here the question is how to generate an access token. So, main concept is uh, generating access token uh, to test uh, anywhere in a postman, right? So, so uh, by using the uh, <clears throat> access token, you can do any any kind of a service test, correct? So, first of all, uh, authenticating with the system and generating the access test. So, for this, what is the prerequisite? So, we need actually a uh, grant type, which is... Uh, the grant type uh, mentioned here they, it's actually documented so I'll, I'll tell you the way it is actually. and then assistance actually this is a key so this key will be like a private key so this is a combination of combination of multiple things uh, i'll tell you how we have to generate this key also so this is the end direction okay so what is the process now yeah so the main key point is to generate this key actually so for that actually we have to follow the <coughs> some commands some commands which provided by the salesforce itself so this it, this document is saying that creating the private key and then self-signed digital certificate so these all are we self-signed digital certificate plus uh, the key we will be generating using these commands so what this commands uh, quickly we'll see this actually to run this command we need a open ssl open ssl software actually so even if you don't have a open ssl software if you have a git it will be good and well uh, in a git also uh, git bash actually not git, git cmd it should be the git bash even if you have the git bash also uh, it will be work open ssl will work let's list so open ssl commands will work here so no no need to install separately no yes so after running this command so there is four commands actually so each command will give one one file so if you run this command it will be generating the this file uh, i'll show you i already ran and have here so this one will become and then if you run this command it will be generating a dot csr file which is this one and then if you run this one it will be generating the crt file which is a actual certificate and similarly four four uh, things four commands you have to run this will be generating a key okay okay so after generating these files this certificate you have to upload in a salesforce connected app so usually how you will do this a connected app right same thing like giving a basic things and then here here we have an option uh, to upload the digital certificate that checkbox you have to check then you have to upload the uh, let me do that and just show you you have to upload the certificate which you have generated by the commands okay so here the checkbox just upload that and then connector callback keyword has to be there so i'm just doing in a developer org right so i just given the same connected callback i mean callback you want so you can give what whichever you want to and then in the permissions you can give uh, depending on your your uh, use case you can give that permissions and then next here run as user yeah run as user has to be there so that should be the integration user and then after uploading the uh, certificate you will be generating as usually you will be generating a consumer key and consumer secret right in this flow we no need the consumer secret here we need only the consumer key and then the username which is the user username okay 
so this is the connected app process and then so after that we need a we need a one private key combination of connected app and then connected app and then uh, the key which we it is generated right this key uh, actually we have to share this certificate and this keys to the third party actually so who's trying to connect but for testing purpose i'm saying for testing purpose we have to post this uh, combination of this key and this uh, certificate uh, we have to generate the key actually uh, let me jump into the generating this so in jwt.io there is a one online tool yep so here we can generate this key so uh, algorithm has to be set rs 256 why we have to set means our primary key is generated based on that algorithm only so where you have mentioned that is generated based on the rs i'll tell you see rsa we have used actually we use the rsa okay so sha is 56 so that's why uh, we have to use rsa to 56 okay mm, header will be automatically will come this and then body payload payload has to be the combination of the things so i'll tell you what it is so in this payload in this payload iss iss means this is a issuer issuer is that uh, our client id not secret ID. I'm telling, uh, repeating again. It will be the client ID, and then uh, SUB sub means who, who is actually user, and then is uh, this will be the our endpoint. I mean, uh, which user we are going to log in that user, and this will be the expiry time date. So how it will be generating is uh, we have multiple oh, multiple. Uh, uh, sites which generate the um, <coughs> time so you just come here and then change to some other when you want to expire this you can just change to this uh, and then generate it uh, copy paste it here just click on convert here it will be coming as a new time that you can just copy paste here expiry time okay so this will be expiring it shows it shows here see yes if you clearly observe the tooltip is showing so in february 2023 20, 20, 23 20, 20, 10, 41. so it will be expiring the time and the next thing is uh, rsc oh so here uh, the certificate which you have right you do just right click in the certificate converter uh, open into the uh, some other editor and just copy that and paste it here and then here in the second uh, uh, text box you just copy this key so this key you just actually this is not encoded the base 64 this is this file is converted into the basic so we no need for now some uh, third party i mean which authentication uh, systems require the encrypted right so that they can use this one so for now i'm using this uh, which is not enc encrypted so just copy paste in here so this similarly you can open this in a notepad right click on edit in notepad copy paste and uh, after pasting automatically it will be generating this this uh, token and this code but make sure you have uh, you have you, uh, sig uh, signature is your signature is verified here until unless the signature is not verified uh, the key was not properly generated okay so the status has to be shown in there uh, and then copy this key mm, copy this key and then uh, paste here copy this key and then paste here let me paste it here so here uh, again i'm going to explain here yeah, this is the endpoint url this end, uh, endpoint url we have to give 
and then the grant type grant type values here and then uh, the token has to be here okay so it should be in under the body and, you know, and then authentication should be set as a no authentication okay so and then generate when you click on send button so we're generating access to okay. so this is uh, for and generating your access token is the way okay let's uh, do the testing this access token will work or not so for that uh, i have uh, one more thing so in that header i'm just uh, running a query here uh, so if you see the service data v63 and query q equal to select name id from com then uh, header was uh, authorization we have to give and should be the bar barrier right so barrier token then should be space mm, this authentication has to be pasted here and then there will be no par so parameters there it was generated because of uh, we added a query right so authorization should be the no authorization only the header has to be there it's a get method so nobody if you run this you will be seeing the, all the account names with the id so this is how we generate the access token that means uh, mm, so there will be the one expected error you will see uh, mm, the expected error will be the uh, user user not uh, user not allowed or user not supposed to be access this endpoint so there might that for that so the problem will be like so you have to be mentioned this user has to be this user has to be uh, let me explain here itself for that error to fix that uh, you have to be say here which profile has to be access or uh, permission set level you can mention that so to see some some people may not be able to see this profile and permission here so for that you just edit you just edit and uh, Say that okay so that's how that's how uh, it will work so uh, any questions you just commented or i'll be answering here